Greetings everybody, it's Jim Handy. How do you like my new setup here? I like this a lot better with the camera. I got a new program that I'm using and already I can tell that my videos are going to be going up uh, like by 66% as far as efficiency. <laughs> so this might make it a lot easier because I mean sometimes it would take me three hours to make a video. Uh, and plus the, I like the camera angle. Uh, not only is the video much sharper, uh, you can actually see uh, all my gaming goodness behind me, my little war gaming table, all my games. Um, you know, I've got to give you a rundown of all the games. What made my list? i got to do that sometime. What made my list on my shelves? Because I have a rule um, that has to fit on those shelves or I can't have it. I cheat a little bit because I can put games on top of the shelves, so you might think that I'd be tempted to make a big line, but no, I don't do that. But anyway... Uh, you are here for the the, um, the the tabletop simulator. Now, what you're looking at here, this is a lot different than the tabletop simulator uh, program that I mean, you know, melee thing that I've done for my uh, for my tutorials, right? And a lot of you have downloaded that, and a lot you know have been contacting me about it. Now, I can't have it on the workshop for those of you who are been looking for it. It can't be up there. Steve Jackson asked me not to do that uh, because they've been working out something with them. Uh, I mean, they just haven't uh, gotten back to me yet of but whether or not that's come to fruition, um, so I can do that freely. Um, but uh, the thing is here, this is. But what I've been doing is just you know, if you contact me myself, I can't have it on the workshop. But if you contact me we play um you know you can download all this stuff will download on your 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 server it'll be fine i just can't have it freely uh out there uh so you just got to contact me and of course who who is going to contact me for tft that doesn't already own tft so that's okay now what you're seeing here though is my new deluxe version that i've been working on i i think it's almost done really uh so let's go over it here and by the way excuse me if i stutter a little bit and get uh, because i mean i'm just going to try to get through this thing in one take um so here we got the uh what i've been using now is this is uh well you could put anything on it by default i have uh the wizard map instead of the melee map because one thing i definitely loved about the death tests is you can just use everything you really could just use the melee map for just about and and may a melee and wizard map for just about any battle of course this makes it a lot easier when you um you know because because setting up a map is really tough isn't it when you got all the mega hexes and stuff like you constantly got to put them out uh it's so much easier and quicker just to use the melee map or the wizard map mind you online that all changes because all you got to do is just put more terrain on you know you can move it around like i can just take this little piece here uh, unlock it and just zoom i can put it over here if i want to and it's really not hard and now the reason that there's uh you know, there was another one underneath that is because this is actually uh, three-dimensional, mainly because this is uh, the Dark Lord's Doom uh, map, actually, from Gaming Ballistic, of one of the little things that they use. And they do a smart thing. They use this map for, like, three different encounters. So uh, they recycle it. And that's smart. Instead of having 20,000 maps like some guys do in their big, long, 700-page, I mean, 700-paragraph solo adventure... Uh, how many maps do I have in that? 20? <laughs> I did things the hard way in that one. It all worked. I'm happy for it. I know a lot of you like it. But man, efficiency was not the key factor in making that thing. Let me tell you. Anyway, uh, pretty cool uh, over here. I got this GM screen. I got all my favorites here. I am a science fantasy guy. I mean, I love the simple Dungeons & Dragons stuff. And don't get me wrong, 90% of the world is and anything I play is fantasy, but I like that science fiction element maybe to ex to explain magic or just for artifacts and stuff like that. And if you just want to throw some science fiction fan, I mean, some uh, science fiction in there, it's good. I really wish actually Steve Jackson would actually explain more about the mechanician, the mechanicians. I really can't say that. I don't take fault on that. The mechanics, uh, the the techs, you know, uh, how far does that go? I would love to have, I know they've done stats for lasers and stuff like that, but I almost want to see uh, um, just enough so you can go from fantasy to science fiction, light science fiction, just blasters, not no super crazy high tech, just enough to, to fit the genre, um, you know, and enough that you can actually go into the modern world. That would be good. That's, that's all I would want. I wouldn't want anything more than that. And you could probably play any... Uh, any any kind of campaign on that. Anyway, uh, so we got some uh, fluff over here. This is just nothingness. This is just cool stuff. You know, uh, have a timer for whatever reason you might need. I do have a portal. 
um, here that you could just dump stuff in. It just opens up and you can just go wee and throw things in there. Uh, let's just take something. Let's unlock one of these babies and just pick it up and go whoosh. And then there it goes away. You know, you can't grab it back. But once you load this, all all comes back, so it's okay. Um, now we got the characters right here. I use these uh, these versions, um, the big long wizard versions. And of course, this dial, you just click it up, and this is supposed to be health, and this is supposed to be dexterity. I could put one in for IQ because I can see how that. I've seen a lot of people try to use that for like, uh, you know, um, you know, morale. That would be a good idea. Or, um, you know, just, um, well, yeah, you just uh, psychosis or something. You know, you have some kind of mental issues. And you should use that a lot, just like strength, you know. Dexterity is so, oh, a lot, a lot of people say that's the main stat. And I can get that. But if you utilize strength and IQ to mean something, then that would be a thing. And I would think IQ could be used for uh, roles for morale. Now, the thing you got to be careful with, that means that all the smart guys would be the... <laughs> would be the stalwart warriors and you don't want that right um you want the guys that are are the stalwart warriors to be the stalwart warriors so what, what i would suggest is actually making that a talent where you get to use your iq uh or only use three dice and anybody else has to use four dice that would probably be the thing that would solve it right there there you go four dice for your average guy to you know, not cower in fear and stuff like that. And then unless they're a coward, then you can give them five dice. But that's how the, that would work out. You know, that would that would even things out enough. Uh, some more, I uh, do have notebooks here, so we can search that over here and we can say, boom, um, you know, and you can uh, write on these actually. Um, so you click on these, the edit, here's the notes, do, 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 do. Um, and then you could just put them back afterwards. And, and so they can keep their notes. It's pretty awesome. And you have a backpack. I don't know what you'd use all this for, um, but you can put coins in there. You as a D game master, like I got here's behind the screen here, and of course I got my uh, game master screen, the same one that I use uh, for the world's greatest screen. If you haven't seen that video, you should. That's a beautiful screen. Um, it is awesome. Uh, so check out that video. Spend a few bucks, get that screen, be very happy. But here's what I've got here, and I uh, just got everything that I really need. There might be a few others that I want to put in here, um, but I'll know that as I play and play more. Um, you know, I play so much solo right now. I do have a campaign going with a, a group of guys uh, at my local church and stuff like that, and we have a lot of fun with it. Now, uh, here's something pretty cool that I've got. I, you got shillings, I mean, copper pieces, uh, hailers. I mean, the, these top four are their own you got Ducats, Silver Haulers, Silver Haulers, Haulers, and Kreutzers, and they're their own little currency. They're, they're from one country. These would be from another country, and these would be from another country. Where you got gold, your typical gold, silver, cotton, I mean, copper and platinum. Then you got golden crowns, silver shillings, brass plenties. So if you go to three different towns, you can have three different currencies. I just think it's kind of cool. Make them have an exchange system. It's one of those things in a. I would think in your basic average campaign to give something for them to think about, okay, we only have so many of these exchange rates and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just another little obstacle so you can give them a lot, but yet they can't spend it. One was if the countries are at war or they don't accept a currency. Now they're like, well, you're paying me in haulers, but I mean, I want gold crowns, you know. Um, just, just all kinds of little things like that I think would add to it. Now here's a lot of uh, conditions, uh, you know, like petrified, uh, grappled. Um, these are a little bit invisible. These are okay. Um, unconscious. I, For me, they're a little bit too cartoony, uh, but I don't have a, anything that would uh, change that right now. I do have my own that I've seen that that I have made, I should say, and uh, from the Fantasy Counter Kit. The only thing is, it, you know, I like the idea of icons. They're, they're visual, uh, but I didn't, you know, I said, no, this will be good for right now. So there we go there, and of course I got my dice tray, I got the negative twos and the negative threes, which are very common, and prone, which are the very common combat conditions. And here I've just got a zodiac dial, um, so let's search in here, and you can just do whatever you want with these. I, I, I don't know what I'll use this for, I have no clue. <laughs> and then you got fortune points, now if you want to do, why is that locked? Okay. Now, if you want to give these out to people, these could work like fate points where you get to re-roll or you get to make something automatically happen. I've always been tempted to use the fate system stuff in this campaign. Like, okay, here's a fortune point, or these these are fate points. 
Um, so basically, you could take one of these and give them to somebody. Um, fortune points would be like a reroll. Fate points would be like, and uh, if you're familiar with the fate system, where it's an aspect, you get to kind of dictate uh, something happens. So if you're you're fighting on ice, you get to say that guy's falling on the ice, which is almost like uh, a, forcing a reroll for somebody. But they did this is uh, a reroll is one thing. A fate point just makes it happen, right? So you can do whatever you want there. I'm experimenting with it. Um, and so, and then this part is really cool. I can't wait to use this in a way. This is just one of those turn trackers. I mean, you've got, uh, you know, this tracks the turn. Who's, who's turn in it? This is the round. You know, and you could set up and have notes right here of when certain spells go off and, or end. Um, and, of course, you have, uh, so you've got the... You know, combat, can, you know, you have the enemies, allies uh, right here, and you can just uh, move them around. You put put down what they are ahead of time, like uh, Goblin, you know, uh, and just Goblin A or whatever. And you could say what what um, what round they move and well, just what order they're in, you know, based on the, the uh, dexterity. Now, this is just says round, but you can put these uh, for DX, too, because they point right pra practically. I gotta maybe fix that as far as the size go. Um, maybe that doesn't work as well as I th think. Yeah, that's kind of halfway. I don't know, um, but you could still. I mean, you know, you figure out their dexterity. You could type it in too. Goblin DX thirteen or something like that, and you could just do that and then just move them around um, as you go. I guess. I mean, I, this round works off. I just would wish it was maybe another column here to say. Um, or you could put it right here. That this is it. Just say who goes when. Um, but once if two guys have the same thing, I guess yeah. Then they're both on top of each other, and then you'll miss it. So I guess you you just type it type it in. But I kind of like the idea anyway. I mean you know instead of going r r running around and stuff. Um, of course, like I said, I was playing Dark Lord's Doom, so I have the uh, PDF right here. Um, for for me, I would not have this if I you know gave this to anybody. Of course, I would take this off. Um, you should get Dark Lord's Doom and stuff like that. I mean, I guess if you got proof that you got Dark Lord's Doom, I wouldn't prob have a problem with it. But then again, you could just load it in yourself. It's easy to put these PDFs in, so that's not a problem. Of course, I've got uh, the melee figures right here. Um, you know, some the monsters, some adversaries. Old, uh, some, of, some of them from my brother's uh, Fantasy Counter Kick, which, by the way, if you haven't heard... Uh, right now, I've, I'm liquidating a few. A few of the boxes got damaged, and I've been taking them out of the box. The, the contents are pristine. Luckily enough, the box is really hard. But I've got a number of them, and because I've called it the OGL sale, you can get five of these now for 20 bucks. Just because I want, because I'm doing that because of the uh, to get rid of the product, but also using the OGL as an example, I mean, an excuse really to give you the opportunity to promote the game of the fantasy trip to everybody else. Give them these counters; they can download the rules for free, and there you go. Everybody's happy. Steve's happy. I'm happy. I'm moving that, moving some uh, product and stuff like that, and you're happy. Everybody wins. Everybody's a winner. Um, so anyway, and here's some more. Oh, I did do this. <laughs> I did. I did do this. I I put the, the the combat conditions here. So I got the fancy ones with the icons up here. Um, I'm I don't know. I'm gonna have to fix uh, you know, pick one of these. I think I'll pick my own. Of course. Maybe I'll just get rid of those. I don't know. That's fine. I'm just experimenting. And that's all good. Now here's here's the scenery. If you want to go 3D and stuff. And I've picked up a few things here, um, including some 2D stuff. Like we can just put that there. So if you have a little bag of treasure, you can just put it on there and say there that is. And you got some 3D stuff too. And I know it's weird having some 3D stuff with uh, uh, counters that are 2D. Of course, you know you can put 3D counters on this stuff. Um, but I do think it. Yeah, so it can be a little bit weird, but I I like it nonetheless. I I mean I just like not using miniatures. Mind you, the reason I don't like using miniatures is because I don't like painting. Maybe if things go well with this, I know you can put 3D models in here. That's what these are, right? Um, you can, if they come for a way that you make 3D models and you can paint them or have them pre-painted, um, I would love to use them. Now, mind you, the only problem is. I kind of like the fantasy trips pictures and stuff like that because it definitely feels old school. I feel like, unfortunately, if anybody's going to make 3D models, it's going to be the kid-tastic 
uh, kind of stuff they're using now. Just a little too cartoony for my old school sensibilities. Uh, so, uh, you know, and I got coins and treasure right here. And here's the, the silver pennies and stuff that I talk about. But I also got uh, some gems too. So I should probably put those over here as well. Um, and, but I like the idea of getting it from a treasure chest. So maybe maybe I'll get the coins from over there and the the uh, the gems from the treasure chest over here. That'd be fine too. Um, but I also have the terrain tiles. I got a slew of terrain that you can pick from. Boom, boom, boom. Ice terrain, bogs, water, void, space voids. Like that's at the bottom here. Like space. If you want to make some end, you know, in lava. Um, you know how most. Uh, games uh, video games anyway seem to have the last uh, guy and you're always in some kind of alternate reality so you can put space out there and that works out pretty well now the only thing i'd say about these um other than i got to uh actually i guess i got to uh scale them all first i haven't scaled them all yet uh it's not a hard thing to do to just to add scale but i mean i'd rather do it myself when you when you get these if you ever get this from me um, make sure you understand that when you take something from here, it actually goes away. You have to remember to uh, put it back in before you start saving it. Otherwise, if you ever delete these, they'll be deleted in your main game. Okay? So, yeah, always, uh, and then put it back in. And now, there it is. And now, it comes out the right proper size. So, uh, something to keep in mind. I'm going to have to go through all these and rescale them so I can just have them uh, done like that. But anyway, guys, that is my uh, I, my next first video of this new format. Uh, I will be working, like I said, on boarding party. Um, if once I get this uh, perfected, I will have this available for anybody that contacts me, um, you know, or you know, or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, just let me know. And my again, my handle is Castle Archon, all one word, all lowercase letters on Steam. Friend me up. Hit me up and then uh, we'll we'll uh, share this off. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.